because black women divorced black men and married the government. And do you think that's a problem inherent to black people? No, it's not. It's happening now in white communities and Hispanic communities. It's just the worst in black America. And why do you think that is? Why Why is it the worst in black America? There's also a cultural problem. This is what a black girl does. So he was saying some things that made sense, yes. we. Ha it's, it's up to us to break the cultural norms. So we shouldn't allow, like, we shouldn't allow our kids to just listen to uh, again, that what, what is that? Yeah, a drill? I get that, but we also should, at the yeah. same time, we should not we, allow we've that. made this clear before that it starts at home and it starts with breaking those generational um, mindsets. You know, so if you have okay, a, a mother, a teenage mother, and she's like immature and she's teaching her kids to do what she did instead of teaching them better, it's going to continue. It's like a revolving cycle. But, so yeah, at the end hard. of the day, it's hard to break. Yeah, Go to video number one, y'all. Video well, number how, one. How was your day, Carla? My, yeah. my, day, my day was good. Oh, it was so good. we can ask you. Well, yeah, my day is, is is way better now because I got my family here. Hey, I mean, hey. we doing the this, this y'all. Because yeah, you always like, you know, bullying me. So, you know. Whoa. I never bully you. Here you this do so. Podcast, we I, do I not only show bully. you love hmm. in a very unique, bully unique, way. Yes, a very <laughs> unique way. You know what, CJ? I just know the words. <laughs> I just know the words. Yeah, was, anyway, let's go to video number one, y'all. Let's go. So, cultural influences on crime rates debate the impact of music and community norms. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to credit Inspire Life Moment for this video here. May be very little interesting. Let's go. Where's Peanut? Okay. There, Come Peanut. on, Peanut. I'm with you. Peanut, kick it off. It's this John Podcast. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Because black women divorced black men and married the government. And do you think that's a problem inherent to black people? No, it's not. It's happening now in white communities and Hispanic communities. It's just the worst in black America. And why do you think that is? Why Why is it the worst in black America? There's also a cultural problem. There is. And okay, we have to be so honest it's just, about it. It's just that black people are. are no, no, let me ask you a question. Like the, the average music that a black person in Compton is listening to, is it about contemplating the good, the true, and the beautiful? Or is it about being a gangbanger and trying to get as much money and sleep with as, about as many girls as you can? I would actually like to think that's a I would be offended by that do you think <laughs> the not, average black kid in Compton is listening to Beethoven or some sort of gangster rap music that glorifies gangster culture silly question rap wasn't created to glorify gangster culture so even though there is okay, rap I mean, I'm you're sure not answering, doing you're, you're dodging the question because okay, I'm sure they're listening to rap okay that, so you think rap music makes them no, leave I'm their not. mom do you think the cultural expectation in black America is that you stay with the woman that you impregnate um within black communities? I can't speak on that. Okay, the answer is no. It's not. It's not expected. Okay, and do you in, think in, that in, is... Hold on. In white Anglo-Saxon Protestant communities, oh, okay. it's a fact. Hold on. In upper middle class white communities... Upper middle class. Say that part louder. Yeah, upper middle class white Anglo-Saxon Protestant communities, if you impregnate a woman, you are looked down upon and we do not think highly of you if you abandon the woman that you impregnate. Mm -hmm. That's a cultural difference. Has nothing to do with money. Has nothing to do with anything except norms. And the norms that have infected black America are destroying it from within. We need more fathers, not less. We need more dads around and less drag queen story hour. We need more we need more young blacks to to be able to look up. Whoa, oh I, I, boy, he cut minute. him deep with I, I, that right I feel there. A little attacked there. Yeah, well, well, yeah, I mean you shouldn't. See, see, you know, in in some ways I do agree with him. Okay, I do it, was, agree, it was maybe like one thing at part. the end. Like, what, I don't what? agree with the music because all you know? uh, rap is not gangster. All rap is not gangster music. But, but most of the music you hear now, most of the music you hear, see, they don't understand the difference between gangster and that yeah, slutty rap. Them, them. Yeah, yeah, to them, to them. Right. Uh, Search first before you just come out and just publicly start saying crap. That's why I said I understand exactly where he was coming from. Some parts I agree with, especially with the, with the music, because the music, uh, they, uh, they seem to be pushing this whole prison agenda. Pris uh, you know, I mean, this, you know, get money and sleep around mm -hmm. with as many men and women as you can so how about Bad this and, and let's, and let's just bust this little bubble ends. for a second because this is my thing <clears throat> okay i don't understand where he where his emotion and all that stuff is coming from he seems a little passionate so but that's also at the same time on this platform if you want to be speaking publicly do your research i literally just looked it up 
of the recipients on welfare are black. Mm -hmm. Higher percentage is of white white people. So he just said that is more black people on welfare than whites. That's not true. I literally just looked it up. There are there are more of the Caucasians than there are. Yeah, it's just law of law of averages. It's more of them. It has to be more of them because they just make up more. I mean, we only make up the population. Yeah, but don't sit there and say that it's a cultural thing. Well, it is. It is cultural, but it's a little bit deeper. So he he hit some points, but he didn't go into the whole thing. So at the end of the day, it's it's solely not solely, but the the biggest point is the socioeconomic part. We don't have the resources that those other white Anglo-Saxon upper middle class. And we mentioned have, that we they, mentioned that before. They have those. They have those resources. So we don't have those. So that's where the lack comes. So then. Of course, if you don't have the resources, then you got the mother and the father working. And if the mother and the father is working, who's working with the child? So then when mm-hmm. the mother and father comes home, they got to prepare food. and So there's no time to really uh, rear the child or nurture the child. I always say, like, when your kid is passionate or something, that should be your clue that, okay, if my kid is banging on the table all the time, let me take they him to a drum to, yep. session or something. <clears throat> so, yep. But I don't got time because I'm trying to work. I'm trying to keep, you know, the lights on in here. So it's like the way he was saying it was saying it like, you know, it is a cultural norm. Yeah, but, but it seemed more like an attack. Though. On, but it's, 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 it's a cultural norm because when I go make a music and I'm, I'm going to make a music, we'll make a song. And the song says, I know I can be what I want to be. If I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to yeah, be. That's, that's Nas made a song Nas, like that. That ain't his right. most famous song. The radio didn't really push that until. But when you hear FBs get money. The, the 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 record labels they're pushing that so a lot of this music yeah that we, but that's 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 African American music but we not even touching the the white music no but I'm just their say, music is not the best either sometimes if you listen to their lyrics but it's the music that they that they um distribute that they market they market Taylor Swift again um Katy Perry had a song years ago I kissed a girl and I like yes it. that's lesbianism but nobody talked about it as lesbian it was just oh this is fun. Whereas, you know, Sexy Ray and Asukiana and them, they'll promote that music and they'll call it. Again, they just had Sexy Ray on the uh, on tour with, I don't want to get it wrong. I think it might have been Luke Bryan or one of them country singers. She didn't come out and sing a word. She came on the stage, turned her ass around and started twerking in front of the crowd. You know what that was for? Because I want to show you all what this what, what we think of the black woman. We're going to put this black woman in front of all these white people. And we're going to show her this is what she do so that they can go home and say, see, this is what the black girl does. So he was saying some things that made sense. Yes, we had, it's, it's up to us to break the cultural norms. So we shouldn't allow like we shouldn't allow our kids to just listen to uh, again that. What, what is that? Yeah, I get that but we also should, at the yeah. same time, we should not we, allow we've that. made this clear before that it starts at home and it starts with breaking those generational um, mindsets. You know, so if you have. Okay, a, a mother, a teenage mother, and she's like immature and she's teaching her kids to do what she did instead of teaching them better. It's going to continue. It's like a revolving cycle. But so yeah, at the end hard. of the day, it's hard to break. Yeah, yeah, hold, hold on. Let me let me give a shout out to L Boogie. It just came in the building. My man, man L Boogie, what's good, bro? Ski. Hey. Big shout out to L Boogie. You know what I mean? I, go, I let that go back. Who was that? Who was that passing? No, I was that going pass I, I, I was just gonna say, like, at the end of the day, uh, one of my friends, she is not from the inner city, and she uh, kept saying to me, she's like, I don't understand, like, like I'm here in the city, and just the way people move, the stuff they do, like, I, I don't get it. I don't understand, like, why they, why do they live like this? And I had to break it down to her, like. If all you've experienced in your life is mediocre, how do you know it's mediocre? Like they say, the saying goes, in order to experience joy, you need pain. Mm-hmm. In order, if, you know, you, you you won't know what, what joy is if you've never understood the other side of it. So a lot of these people, they, they really are ignorant. They don't know. They don't know that the projects is not some a place that you four or five <laughs> generations should live. They don't yeah. know that. Because guess what? When I get up, my mom is here. My grandmom is here. My aunts is here. All of my friends are here. Their grandmom's there. So we don't know until we're exposed to other things. I remember one time. This is my last point. I remember one time my dad was a teacher in South Philly. He took the kids to the zoo. I mean, this is fifth through eighth grade. We're not talking about five-year-olds. So we're talking right about now. some... You know some kids that should have experienced something he gets to 
these pink birds. I'm explaining it for you. What is a pink bird with the long legs? Are you asking us? Are you asking I'm asking. Kid? I'm asking. Y'all. Ostrich. No, no, no. no. Um, a flamingo. What's, what's, what are they called? Flamingo. 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 They were <laughs> flamingos in the zoo. My dad said the kids ran up to the little they were bar. Oh my gosh, look at that chicken. <laughs> oh God. I don't know. I don't know. That's, I don't know. that's, the, I don't know. that's the only bird they were have ever been exposed to. They didn't even say turkey. He said all of the kids said, chicken. look at that big chicken. Because that's all they knew. So yeah. it's just oh, exposure. If you don't right. know anything, you just don't know. You don't know. And that's the thing that we have to break first. With, with the invention of social media and the internet, that now there's no excuse, especially our age. Because we're that last age of pre-technology right. so our generation we should be teaching the youngest hey listen it's more than life than just this for that, sure that's for our sure. job for so listen let's go to the comment you know you know what time you know it's that comment time, mm -hmm. y'all. so check this t I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, t yeah you woke i'm awake all right now god damn it <laughs> first comment <laughs> they love discussing us without us being present now that was my issue <laughs> <laughs> who are you yeah, what do you what do you say, T? What do you say about that? I mean, I agree, but I mean, also at the end of the day, they they're going to do it no matter what. They do it behind closed doors. It just so happened to be this man was out in the open. So I mean, it's not going to change anything. Don't discuss <laughs> me with I, our people. Discuss us. Well, so we supposed what difference to. does it make? No, we supposed to because again, he's not he's not in the trenches like he's saying. Well, the average kid in Compton, how would you know that? You ain't there. You don't know what the you don't know that there is. Yeah. A, a, you, you see what I'm saying? You don't know that the average kid is listening to that. You just going off what you think. There's programs in our city, stuff like boys track, and there's there's different things where the kids are doing art. They're doing STEM. Yeah. You just don't hear about that stuff. So mm -hmm. don't make it mm -hmm. seem like oh, they're yeah, just all you know, in you know as no, they say, know negativity that. negativity spreads faster and better than positive yeah. things. So there's a lot of positive. Um, activities and programs in the city because my kids was in all of them you know different things i made sure that they was exposed to a whole lot of different things but well, i mean listen, know, at I was, the end of the day you know they only they only they only they only talk about what they see yeah and that's what because they that's, that's like they're really not in the trenches yeah you're though. not they don't see what we see although we know is plenty of of good music out there the only of thing course. they see is the se the sexy, sexy reds uh -huh. or the uh, uh, gorillas that's and stuff right like now. that. Yeah, yep. yeah, because again, that's that's the whole agenda that's that, the, that right. the media. That's pushing. the stuff they pushed yeah. out mm -hmm. there. So let's go to comment number two. I'm black, and some of this is true. Yeah, think? we just said it. A, yeah. a, a lot of it was true. He what he was saying. He, he was he was telling the truth. Yeah, some of it was true. It. I mean, not all of it, but I mean, yeah. I mean, some of it I think is his perspective. Everyone mm -hmm. has the, has a right to their opinion because that's what I said. Like I literally just looked up, you know, welfare rates. Like what you just said is not true. You know mm -hmm. that it's more black people on welfare than whites. No, that's not true. No, so I, I mean when it comes uh, again, even when he said the thing about uh, they need to be more fathers. I, I just seen know, a study. I agree with that. But, yes, but that's not true because I just seen a study that said that the uh, black men are the are, are, are the black men are the most involved fathers statistically over yeah. everybody else it was like 82 percent are are the, now again the ones that are not yeah, there, they there, might not there, be there are still a lot of absent five but the thing about it is there are but that's not the majority uh, again like they always say with the with the uh the black men oh they they marry the white women they marry outside their race 88 percent of black men are married to black women they only going to tell you the part that they want you to hear right. so it's like that's not For true sure. yeah black men are taking care of the kids the ones that's not they not but the ones that are is an overwhelming majority, and they don't they won't tell they won't tell you that part. That's the part that they always leave out. Oh yeah, because that's not newsworthy. Let's go to comment number three. Even though I don't agree with anything he's with everything he says, music has a big influence on children and how they grow and to become adults. That part is true. Yeah, that's true saying? because you got to think about it. Look about in our era. They used to have certain music that they would play on the radio and it was censored. And yeah. then the CDs and the tapes, you had to buy from the store. And those were the the albums. They had like the albums and like the CDs and the tapes the where it had the explicit yeah. music. So therefore, it was like, OK, you could not buy everything. They didn't make everything available. Now, these days, everything's online. Everything's on the radio. They don't even blank out the stuff Booty anymore hole, nah. on <laughs> no. the radio. So everything is just like literally out in the open. So yes, 
that's just to me that's a big big deal because i remember i used to be able to try to hide like certain my sons growing up or let's just say because i was never a big component or parent where i wanted my sons playing with 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 guns whether it was a toy gun or no you're not getting no toy gun we not we not promoting no guns in this house yeah. but however at the end of the day it's like okay when they are in their friends and their friends parents allowed them to do that they were still getting exposed to it yes but you got something to say, bro i agree again if if you don't have the time to raise your kid What's going to raise your kid? Isn't that going to raise your kid for right. you? It's going to be the music or the and and or the streets. Yeah. And so when they go out into the streets, they again they're not listening to I know I can be what I want to be. They listening to you know whatever. Mm-hmm. Go get some mm-hmm. money, get to shoot the ops up, shoot the block up, all that stuff. So yeah, the music does have a big influence, especially when you're not an influence. So yeah. I agree. Well, I just want to add this before we go to the next video. Me, music has such an influence, even us adults. Yes, it does. You know what I mean? Because you know you can you can listen to that song you listened to when you was a kid. You'd be like, oh my god, just take this, just just take me back to some good ass memories, right? You know what yeah, I mean? I'm the type of person I listen to music like all day. Like music is like you know music has the has a way music, of changing it, it or altering a, a person's mood too. Oh, so it real. also depends on what you listen to. Because I'll 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 have my chill moments and I'm listening to my my R and B or my you know my my you know, but then. Depending on the mood of my, I'm in. Mean, okay, DMX yeah, I'm running some DMX, <laughs> or some Meek Mill, or uh-huh. some Jay Z, and I'm hyped. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah. So. Hey. Hold on. Did, did you say Meek Mill or Cheek Mill? Meek. Cheek Meek. Meek. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounds like a. Rye Meek. Okay. That's a Mr. Sorry. Rye Meek. Hey, 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 Meek. I don't want no smoke, bro. Oh, I don't want shoot. no smoke, bro. Look, look. Oh, I got to support Philly. Oh, we damn. from Philly. You got to support Philly, right? Hey, but the, come on. You know how Philly. We rag on. We rag. You yeah, listen. If Yo, you from Philly, you better know how to bust, boy. Cheek Mill. Yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> Let me stop, bro. All right, look. Yo. Listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. Like, comment, yeah, I made this joint podcast, man.